Having trouble with navel orange worm in the orchard? Sidetrack, now miso mating disruption is your best bet to minimize loss and maximize profitability. Used with Tresse's new multi-gender lures for your monitoring program, you can achieve the quality yields you deserve. Contact your local sales rep today. Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with Pacific Nut Producer Magazine reporting to you from Kern County here with Mohamed Yagmor from the UC Cooperative Extension Orchard System Advisor. Over the past few years we've had an uh, influx of Phytophthora, aerial and uh, root rot. So I wanted to talk about that today, what, uh, what the difference is between the two and how growers can go about managing it. Thank you for your question. So uh, uh, Phytophthora can infect both parts of the, of the tree. Uh, the aerial parts and can cause uh, aerial phytophthora, especially on the uh, main scaffolds and the trunk. And uh, phytophthora uh, diseases can cause uh, root and crown rots. And uh, root and crown rots, we can see it both in uh, newly planted orchards as well as in established orchards. With aerial phytophthora, usually the disease infection starts from the point where all main scaffolds emerge. That's why uh, what happens with aerial phytophthora is that, you know, if, they are, if the main scaffolds are coming out from the same point, what's gonna happen is you will have a cup shaped like in, in the crotch of the tree. And uh, so what happens there is that that cup-like shape will collect a lot of dust from the soil. And we know that phytophthora spores are in the soil. So comes uh, the winter time after harvest, for example, okay, rain will come down, that will uh, release the zoospores that can infect the aerial parts of the tree and start the infection. Canker will develop, that will uh, cause tree decline and probably cause uh, death of the trees over time. So this disease has become a problem in several orchards here in Kern County in the past few years. Uh, we are working closely with Dr. Greg Brown on identifying different species. Also to manage this disease, Dr. Greg Brown and uh, Mario Viveros worked on this disease before when it was also a problem here in Kern County. And uh, what they found out actually is that uh, chemical control is very effective. For example, the use of phosphonates or the use of mifenoxam, which is redomid. That's one. Uh, you know, lately also the work by uh, uh, Dr. Flo Tru Truillas uh, from Kerniak Center had shown that a good scaffold selection is very important to manage canker disease. And we see it also here. We don't see why uh, proper scaffold selection is not also good for Phytophthora because when you have the scaffolds uh, placed apart uh, in a way will avoid the development of this cup shape. For sure the dust will not accumulate there and the chances of having the development of the disease due the spores accumulated in that crotch area will go down significantly, hopefully. Thank you, Mohammed. Read more about these things in Pacific Nut Producer Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.